Noob Noob, I have some very sad news about balls for you. What's that? The balls are dead. Or are they in heaven? <laughs> That's right. It's unfortunate news for everybody today, even though this happened on March 1st. The legend. Akira Toriyama, the creator. Pioneer. Of Dragon Balls. And Dragon Ball Z. And Dragon Ball Super. Not Dragon Ball GT, though. That was not manga. Oh. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, he has passed. He's not that grandma voice, is he? No, that is... I don't know who that is. She's like 90. I think she's still kicking. She's still shooting Kamehameha's. So she's still kicking, but he's not. How unfortunate. Akira, Akira Toriyama dies at 68, which seems like pretty young. These Man guys, had so much more to give to the Dragon Ball universe. I think he, he did other stuff too, but obviously Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball in general is, is his biggest work. His biggest... I think he was involved in... The, there's a new Dragon Ball series coming out soon. Dragon Ball Daima. I think he was involved in that, too, and they were going to be doing more stuff. I mean, I can't think of a uh, manga anime that is bigger. One Piece is probably bigger. Bigger than Dragon Ball? Is One Piece the one with the endless episodes? Yeah, but that I don't think it's as influential as Dragon Ball. I think Dragon Ball is, like, number one. If it, Dragon I Ball is the best, yes, I know. I don't care about Dragon Ball at all, but I would say it's number one. I need to go re. I can admit that. I need to rewatch every single Dragon Ball episode, Dragon Ball Z episode in Blu-ray, and then buy it again in 4K, and then in 8K. Yeah, they give it away in 8K. Yes. Unfortunately, he died on March 1st of a blood clot in his brain. His brain was so amazing, it decided to clot itself. Probably drawing the next <sighs> Super Saiyan double rose. He was going through all the colors of the rainbow. Honestly, they're run no, they didn't go. Pur uh, they kind of go purple. I'm trying to think of what color green. They don't go green yet, so green's going to be a power-up at some point. I think they went green. Uh, he was working enthusiastically on many projects, and there was still much he had, was looking forward to accomplish. Yeah. They, I, I guess so it was sudden. I don't think... So he wasn't... It wasn't like he was sick and then died. He just kind of got a brain Usually, clot. Usually, yeah, a clot is just one of those instant pieces. He's just one and done. Uh, there's a lot of people paying tribute to it, including Ichiro Oda, the creator of One Piece. He said he was like a big tree to younger artists. He showed us all these things manga can do, a dream of going to another world. His death leaves a hole too big to fill. Bird Studio thanked him for more than 40 years of support. I mean, that's pretty intense. This is sad. Yeah, this is depressing. He was a good dude. He was born in Aichi Prefecture in central Japan in 1955. He's and not even that old. No, 68. 68 years young. There's a bunch of uh, there was a bunch of Dragon Ball ones. There's one where it's super depressing. It's Goku and Vegeta carrying a coffin with Dragon Balls on top. I'm oh like, my oh god, was that wow. a meme or something? No, it was just like a like an artist did it. Oh, geez. like him them carrying his coffin. I was like, wow, this is super depressing. Well, wildly popular Dragon Ball series seemed a little one note, but uh, it's the best thing ever. Uh, I mean, no, he's still brilliant, but. I don't know. I think I heard somewhere he has like a protege or whatever that was working with him on a later series. So I don't I guess it's going to continue. Hopefully it still continues. Maybe after like a little. Pause. I think it's grown beyond him as a creator and it's just joined the lexicon of the world where anyone who's not me can enjoy Dragon Balls in their face, in their mind, wherever you can enjoy a Dragon Ball. Are you quoting something or are you just saying words? I am just saying Okay. <laughs> you really? I thought you were reading. There was quote. I saw quotations on the screen. So I was like, are you reading something? It is our deep regret that he still had several balls in the middle of creation with great balls. Comes enthusiasm. great responsibility. <laughs> he would have had many more things to balls. However, he is. You're also many making balls this up, aren't you? <laughs> now I'm making. Wow. This, up. <laughs> this is he too died soon. Of acute subdermal, subdural hematoma. A brain bleed. Basically. Yeah. Yes. That sucks. It's a sad. Like sad I said, I, I hope Dragon Ball Z continues. He worked on, like, I think he did some game stuff, and I'm, I'm sure he works on the Dragon Ball what games, too. What does this too. mean to you, though, personally? What do you mean? Super sad. I have a set of Dragon Balls. I'm going to rub them when I get home in <laughs> his honor. What do you honor. mean you have a set, set I have of a set Dragon of Dragon Balls. Balls. 
it grants you any wish? Uh, well, my wish would be for him to be alive still. Wow. But I don't think he will be. That's very sad. It's bullshit. Yes. It fills me with balls. Why couldn't... Uh, I'm trying to think of like someone who needs to die. <laughs> Emma Watson? Nah. Would you trade Emma Watson's life for... Uh, Ah, I mean, that's a weird reference that you chose Emma Watson. I don't Watson. know. I was just thinking of a random human being. I mean, I like Emma Watson. Death note level of just I, random I do human like being. Emma Watson. I Would I choose her over yeah, Akira? Yeah, but she, what is she doing right now? Yeah, she's super feminist, so I think I would sacrifice her for Akira Toriyama. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's like if I needed, like if Shenron needed a human sacrifice, I would throw her in the fire and then bring him back. I think that's so, what we would all agree with. I think the world would. Maybe not Emma Watson's parents, but... <laughs> Everybody but Emma Everyone Watson's but her and maybe the guy she's banging. No, I feel like... Well, she's still attractive. What about Natalie Portman? Definitely would sacrifice her. <laughs> a, that's not even a question. A hot second. I'd sacrifice her twice. <laughs> I could. would sacrifice her, use the Dragon Balls, revive her, just to sacrifice her again. <laughs> she is a miserable person, I think. And she just got divorced. So. Yeah. Well, so she's available. Are you saying? All right. Never mind. All right, Natalie, if you're listening, I'm here. <laughs> I will not sacrifice. I am here. Today. I will use the Dragon Balls to make your boobs bigger. Not today, Satan. Something you probably want. But I guess we can all agree on the enormous footprint that. R.I.P. Toriyama. Yeah, Akira Toriyama. Left on the world. Even I, who is not a Dragon Ball fan. He's so powerful that he had a uh, a Goku balloon in the Macy's Day Parade. That's how it transcends. You don't see One Piece doing that. Because One Piece is Goku. garbage compared to Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> in strict comparison. And all other how animes. How come they haven't done a live action? They did do a live action. They did. Dragon it's Ball it's Z, great. It <laughs> in the sense that it's very terrible. Uh, Emma Watson. Would you sacrifice Emma Watson? For no, a wait. We already said her. Who's the girl? Emma Rossum. Emmy Rossum? Not Emma Watson. Mm, Emma Rossum. Emmy Rossum. Emmy Rossum. Was she, she in the Dragon Ball movie? She was. She was Bulma. Would you sacrifice Bulma live action for his life? Yeah, probably. Uh, get me more Dragon Balls. Yeah. And didn't you even go to like a Dragon Ball rest theme? I did. Restaurant? Super Saiyan in Orlando. Super in Orlando. Boy, it's a ramen Boy. restaurant. Super Saiyan. Super Saiyan. It was delicious. Sad day. So if you have a chance, just put them in your thoughts and uh, check out an episode. Or Support the official manga. release. Get more Dragon Ball going. Yeah. Keep and his we, legacy alive. We will not promote ourselves on this one. We'll just say, rest in power, <laughs> Akira Toriyama. You left us too soon, but you left us with a large legacy. Of balls. Plenty of balls. You dropped some big balls on the world. And no one will ever forget your balls. I will shine them well. So that's all for us here at Our Views Will Kill You. Keep the balls in mind, but we are on to the next one. Mm -hmm.